Let's look at some aspects of sorting, and I want to show you here if we decide to sort this spreadsheet by state. So in the home tab, uh, over here in the editing block, you have an option for sorting and filtering, and so if I click on that and decide to sort this from A to Z, and we'll see what's going to happen. I'm going to get a warning. I'm going to uh, be told that this is going to mess up the spreadsheet. And um, I'm going to continue just to show you what that's going to do so uh, this becomes clear. So we sort it. And now you see that it, it, uh, it sorted from A to Z. And so the spaces came at the end now that were up here at the top. And um, the, the heading um, for that column got moved down here. So. And we didn't sort any of these other rows, and so we have scrambled the data that, that it, up to this point was good. So I'm going to undo that. Um, you, you, uh, you just don't want to do that. The warning is there for a purpose. Um, so a, a better way to do that um, is to select the spreadsheet uh, area that you want to. So I'm going to click over here and then I'm going to shift key and click here and that selects the area I want to sort. So it includes all the, the rows um, or all the columns in each row. So now I'm going to also go to custom sort. And so what the custom sort does is gives me a chance. First of all, I want to say that my data has headers. So that eliminates this header row from being sorted. And then um, we will choose what we want to sort by. So I'll choose state again. And we'll go A to Z and we'll sort now. And so you see it preserved the headers and it sorted the actual data, but it also kept things together. So uh, it didn't corrupt the data that we had in here by sorting one column and not the other one. So this is um, the first step of two um, steps here in sorting. We've done the sort, and you can certainly use this just like it is. We're going to talk about using uh, a table to do sorts uh, in the next uh, short video.